All right, time for me to hopefully be unnecessarily stressed. Um, 15 card blind PSA reveal. Um, I went through these on my video number 50 from December 12th, 2021, where I went through each of these and my predictions of grades and um, just looking at all the cards going through on that video. And uh, I hadn't watched it since then. And then so I got this in the mail and then I looked at that video and it made me even more nervous going, holy cow, there's some cards I was really hoping would do okay. Um, even though some are lower mid grade, if you know, I'm hoping everything at least got graded. I'm hoping nothing's just, you know, PSA authentic. Um, like I said in my last video, a couple of things, I sometimes put a little too much, um, too much into cards here. They, uh, mean a little too much, so I, I need to, I need to fix that somehow. But, um, um, and then also in the last video, there is a, there is a problem with one of the cards in this order. They, um, they didn't identify it as the correct rarity and I'll show you. I, I brought up a listing of a regular version on eBay and see if you could, <clears throat> see if there's enough of contrast that so you can see on the video the difference I'm talking about so let's um let's get into this and uh I've got my prediction sheet so you can see I'm not lying on my guesses if I do hit some of these um I've never submitted basketball there's some basketball on here um I think I've only submitted one football card in the past my Montana rookie they got a nine and uh maybe four or five years ago. So, um, I have my guest column and then my hope, which is kind of like, you know, my <laughs> emotional, uh, guess or hoping it could get that. So, let's, oh man, let's see what, um, uh, let's see what I got. So, this is, uh, like I said, I mean, you know, some people who sell their cards, flip their cards, you know, um, you know, not, not going to really keep them or pack rat these away like I am for, you know, and, and I look at my cards a lot. I just, I enjoy them. So I just put a little too much emphasis, more than what a normal person should on when I get grades or you know as i stated in my last video sometimes also when i uh uh open um cards and so, okay good the back is showing that way and oh that's amazing news they all got graded they all got graded um okay hi there we are Okay, so let's let's do this really dramatic here, just to you know, not to prolong the video, but just to, so. There's a Derek Jeter rookie. There is a ooh, Cal Ripken rookie. There is a oh, there's that '69 Ryan. Ooh, we're gonna put him. He's gonna be a front. Oh, this is the Banks. I was hoping got a high grade. Here's an Aaron that I have a few of those, 56 Aarons. Here's the here's the one that they, I know they messed up by identifying it. So we'll put that kind of back row. Um, I mean, it'll be neat if it got a good grade. I just need them to take it back and get the right variety. Uh, Durant rookie. Can't believe these all got graded. No issues with them. That's, you know, you just never know. I mean, I didn't pull all these from packs. You know, some I bought, some... Um, I don't know where I got some of these. Uh, that Archives Jordan is a really cool looking card. We're going to put that one there. Patrick Ewing, rookie's probably a front row card. Steve Young, Mantle. I'm so stinking nervous. I know it's ridiculous. You could put in the comments, it's ridiculous. And I'm not going to disagree. Okay. There we are. Okay. All right. Do we start in order? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's. All right. We'll start with the Steve Young. That's you know. So I have to hunt on my sheet. <laughs> Steve Young, eighty-six tops. 
his NFL rookie, not his USFL. But guess is a uh, six and a half, hope of a seven. All right. 86, Steve Young. Guess six and a half, hope seven. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. this had a few little, I mean, little corner issues and things. Let me, I'll try to get the glare off. That's nice. Okay. Nailed my hope column on that one. Okay. I'm understandably happy with that. Like I said, there was the, uh, the seven on there. Let's jump to the, the problem card, the, uh, the 52, uh, 50 top, 52 tops, uh, Kryoski. It's supposed to be a rare gray back. Um, they just graded it as a regular back. I had a, a guess of a six. So just a straight. Oh my God. I'm just so, I'm so relieved everything's graded. Like, especially that Ryan, if you watch my preview video, it's too big. Like, it's bigger than a normal cut card. So, all right. So here's, well, it look like a gray back. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it's the same. Yeah, it is a little darker than that. I don't know. Okay, anyways, guess of a six. Five. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, so, this, they were supposed to grade as a gray back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it on. No, don't flip on me here. Come on. Stop it. Okay, we'll just do it like this. There. It's not just the brightness of the phone. This is a regular back. I'm actually going to probably bid on this and send it to PSA when I send this back and say, um, looky here, that's a gray back. Okay. Alone. And I'm just, I'm a little disappointed that they didn't, you know, take the time to do some research because my last gray back I sent in, like I said, they got it right. Labeled as a gray back, it was actually the highest graded card, 159 gray back in the world, and I sold it at Golden Auctions. It got a seven. There was two sixes in the world. I got a seven. So um, this one I just wanted for my collection. I wasn't going to sell it, but um, I mean, do you agree? That's I mean, and like I said, it's not just the phone brightness. Um, this is a darker, rarer gray back. So I am going to buy this right now. The bidding on this one's like seven bucks. I mean, I'll even go up to like eleven, twelve dollars. It's a you know lower grade. This one, just not to get graded, but say, look, can you guys please fix this? Okay, so there. So I missed on that. That I guessed a six. It got a five. But that's you know that's not the bigger issue. The bigger issue is getting in the right slab because in a five, what is that? Maybe forty dollar card. Gray back of that, I'll have to look at the pop report, potentially about 1,000 to 1,500 or more. I mean, people who are doing a set of, you know. Okay, let's go. That's, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's, okay, let's do the, this is a lower end. Um... Is Kobe? Yeah, lower end Kobe rookie. Okay, let's, let's, let's get <laughs> Um, I have not been drinking tonight. I'm just excited about the freaking cards. Uh, what are we at? What am I looking for? What, 97? Is that 96 Kobe, right? Um, R10. Is that R10? Where'd it go? Yes. Okay. So this, um, sorry, this video is longer. It's going to need to be. I do apologize in advance. 96 Upper Deck Rookie Exclusives R10 Kobe Bryant. I guessed... An 8.5. We got a 9. I think this is my only Kobe rookie. I, I, I don't know where I got it, but a 9. I didn't even have a hope higher than that 8.5. Wow. Okay, this so far, this is turning out to be... Pretty awesome. Okay, because if I guess low on some of these, 
we're going to be in very good shape here. All right, let's look at the let's look at the 82 Ripken. Just kind of going over the ones that I wasn't like, you know, I have a lot of 82 Ripkins, but uh, da, 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 82 tops Ripken future. I guessed an eight, hope of an 8.5 on the uh, Orioles rookie stars. And we got a no, a nine. What the heck? Am I just the toughest grader to be? I mean, like I said, I've, in my previous videos where I've underguessed, I would rather underguess. Look at that son of a gun. Ooh, a nine? Oh, I'm so ecstatic about this. Like I said, I'm not lying. And you can see my preview video. I guessed an eight, hope of an 8.5, a nine. Mr. Cal, Mr. Cal, that, that's exciting. Okay, let's do, um, what is this, a LeBron. A, so, we got, what's LeBron's rookie, oh, 03? I know, I don't really know basketball. Upper Deck MVP, 201, LeBron James, I guessed a nine. Nothing in the hope column. So, I guessed high on this one. Nine. Holy smokes. What an order. I was going to preface this video in the beginning, say, well, I mean, you know, there are some of my vintage could, but I was going to say, if you're watching this, which you still might not be, um, it means it was a total bust. I got frustrated. I got angry. I didn't post the video. So if you're watching this, um, hoping it's continuing like this. So a nine is, that was dead on what I predicted, right? Yep. A nine on a LeBron rookie. Okay. Let's look at the Jeter gold. So this had a little bit of issues, I mean, but it was my only gold. So just a, you know, um, it's the newest card of the order. No, newest baseball card. 93 tops gold. Derek Jeter, I guessed a six. Just straight six. No, nothing in the hope column. Just said six. Seven. A little bit of packaging on this. Seven. Okay. I under guessed again. So the only over guess was on the uh, that 52 tops card back there. Yeah, sorry if you can see the glare of my PJ shirts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes, I'm I'll be 50 this year and I'm saying PJ shirt. But it's from it's my Christmas PJs. We we all wear the same Christmas PJs and these are from like, you know, 2019. So, the kids and all of us. So, <laughs> it's nighttime right now. Um maybe not when I post this video, but so that's kind of cool. Let's look at the Durant, the Durant rookie. And we're getting into the really big boys. Um, all right, 2007 Fleer retro rookies, Kevin Durant, a guest in eight and a half, hope of a nine. Okay, just, yeah, I kind of went through that quick. I'm already like excited to see. Uh, Kevin Durant rookie. Eight and a half, nine. So none of these are like the, you know, tops chrome rookies, the big ones, but still, I'm just happy to. Nine. Wow. So yeah, I guessed an eight and a half, and I got a nine. Oh, this is an incredible order so far. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, let's look at this. This is not a, I mean, it's a cool card, but I mean, it's not. You know, crazy high value, but it's just a neat card. It's uh, Michael Jordan, uh, uh, 92 Tops Archives. It's just such a killer card because it's on the 84 baseball design. Uh, it's, um, I guessed a nine. Ooh. This is a big dollar card and a 10, but I guessed a nine. Eight. Okay. I missed on it a little bit. That's okay. I mean, look at that card. It's just killer on the... The 84 tops baseball design. So I missed on this. I had no, you know, I didn't have anything in the hope column. Had it just a straight guess of a nine. Um, got an eight. So, I mean, it could be 
Well, it is kind of a little bit tilt cut. It is cut a little low. I don't think it's eight centering really, but you know, maybe there's something else, but still pretty, pretty neat card. So I'm not, not upset about that. Let's open that up there because I'm hoping this, oops, I don't know if you guys saw this one already. Well, we'll just look at it because I might've flipped it up. Okay. Whitey Ford. Um, we don't, then, um, 61 Whitey Ford. Guess the seven. Well, <laughs> for a vintage card, that's a, that's a big grade. Six. Okay. Well, I don't know why I go to six, but still, um, there's a seller that has raw stuff from a lot of 61s. And, uh, you know, first couple of cards I've bought from him, I'm sent in this order just to see. I mean, his car, if his cards are legit, I'm going to buy more raw because let me tell you, buying raw, you're not paying as much as graded. So I missed on this a little bit. So something got it a little, a little more than I thought. So like I said, the 61 Ford, guess to seven. There was nothing in the hope column, just a straight guess of a seven. Um, uh, may the centering both ways took it to a six because now looking at it, I mean, that's and it's got you know, it's tilted that away. See, um, let me see, this corner is kind of pointing like the border widens as you go down and then it widens as you go that way. So that corner is dipped. Um, you know, maybe the tolerance there is, you know. Um, maybe that's six, but still, I mean, that's still a gorgeous card. Okay. Uh, the 56 Aaron, um, cause I, you know, I have a few of these. This was just guessing low on this one. Uh, 56 Aaron. This had some wear on it, you know, uh, white back, uh, two and a half guess, hope of a three. Let's see if I guessed low on this. Hope of a three. I'll take a three. 56 Aaron. You know, it had some issues, I think. Definitely, you know, heavily worn card. Hey, I'll take it. Like I said, guess of a two and a half, hope of a three. And it gets the three. It gets the three. Okay, let's look at the Patrick Ewing rookie. I don't I don't think I have any other 86 Fleer, not many. So 86 Fleer sticker Patrick Ewing, I guess the seven and a half. Uh eight. So I had a guess of a seven and a half, nothing in the hope column, but it, it went above my guess. So more cards have been better than I guessed, than ones going a little under and haven't missed by much when I've over guessed. So sorry, the lighting just isn't, there we go. Sorry. I'm like trying to look at it too close myself and not paying attention to how it looks in the camera, but man, beautiful eight on Ewing. All right. Okay. Ernie Banks. That's uh, um, 61 Ernie Banks, uh, all-star. Bought it from the same seller as I got that Ford. Have a couple others raw still. So this is the one where I guessed a six, hope of a seven, both the hope and the guess, if no mark. Because in my preview video, preview video, there was a kind of a little bit of a smudge on the far edge of the border. So guess of a six, hope of a seven, Eight. Oh my gosh. It usually doesn't blast above my uh, hope column, but um, yeah, I'm going back to the seller. He's got a, uh, yeah, he's got another all star that, that I want of another different player. Holy smokes. I did not pay much for this. Look at that. A 61 Banks all star. Again, I got to It's not bragging. I'm just going over. Just. I guessed a six, hoped a seven. So my hope is like, okay, that might be unrealistic, but an eight. And the thing that really factored my, if you look at the preview video, video number 50, 
I was worried about whatever the heck that that is. You know, is that somebody's pen mark? Especially if it's a pen mark and not factory. I think that really hits it even more. I mean, I think they're a little lenient on more lenient on something from the factory. But oh my gosh! Oh look at that! That this. I am so happy with this. Okay, um, fifty-eight tops mantle. Um, again, rougher one. I. You know, just wanted it slabbed. I have one in a four already. Um, I had graded like nine years ago. Uh, 58 tops mantle, I guessed a three. Hope of a 3.5. Three, okay. That's okay. Look at that. I mean, it's a beautiful three. So, you know, just because I don't hit my hope column, I mean, the three was the realistic guess. Like what I really thought it would get. Beautiful with that orange. I haven't been showing the backs. So I'm really sorry. Um, I've kind of been focusing on the front with the grade. Okay, we're going to save the big, um, at least for me, the biggest one of the order, the white back 69 mantle. Uh, let's do this Ryan that is worried would have an issue because it, it's bigger. I mean, it's just bigger than a normal 69. It's cut big. But I guess that's not as uh, much of an issue for PSA as if it's a uh, uh, min size. So 69, Ryan, I guessed a 6. So you see no nothing in the hope column. I guessed a 6, if not too big. 6, if not too big. 4. Ooh. Okay, there's my big miss of the order. But still, this is a valuable card in a 4. I Gosh, I thought this this thing, I thought it was gorgeous. I missed something. Shout out if you see it. That's a nice looking four, I got to tell you that. But you know what? For what I picked this up over a dozen years ago, whenever I did, can't complain about that, really. I mean... It's guessing a six. So, all right. Here's the big boy. This is the one I've been thinking about since I sent it away because I cracked this out of a BGS three and a half. 69, Mickey Mantle, last name in white, the rare version. I'm guessing a two, hope of a three. In all honesty, in my heart, I'm hoping that it's at least a three because I did... Crack it out of a BGS three and a half. Looking at the back though, maybe my guess of two is realistic. Pretty bad crease right there. Off center this way, two. Okay, that's you know. To have a white back sixty nine, this was this was my guess. So that's you know, like I said, cracked it out of a BGS three point five, and you know I'm not going to worry about that. That's you know that's in a two. It's I think more than what I paid for it in that BGS three and a half holder. So, um, but just a, a cool rare card in Mickey Mantle. So maybe I, you know, I missed, um, guessing too high on about as many as I missed guessing too low, but some of the ones I guessed too low ended up just being monsters. So, oh, I can breathe easy. You guys are going to be seeing this video. <laughs> I'm happy with this. Holy smokes. Um, what's your favorite card in this? I I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, gosh, I got a couple of... I got three key rookies and a doggone... I mean, they're not... They are key rookie, but I mean, I got three rookies and a doggone nine. The Kobe, the LeBron, and the Durant in nines. Um... Got the Ripken in an eight. No, a nine in the Ripken. I don't know. I mean, this might be my favorite of the order. Card that's, what is this card? 61 years old. In an eight. So we'll run through them again. Here's the 
I'm not going to tell you again what I guessed or hoped on these again, but just a great order. Just run through them. So the banks in an eight, uh, the 69 Ryan in a nine. There's the you know, back of that Ryan. I don't think I showed it. 69 Mantle white letter. I have uh, two regular uh, last name in uh, yellows. I think, uh, so I have one that's a five, one that I think is a two also like this one, but that's the more common versions. This, this is the rare, rare. And then we have Patrick Ewing rookie and an eight. 86 Fleer. Wow. <laughs> Okay, uh, 58 Mantle and a three. Sixty one Ford and a six. So yeah, as soon as this video is done, I'm looking at that seller's listings because if his cards are this, you know, they come out this legit, I'm gonna have to pick a couple more up. Um, of course, when can I get them graded with the way, the, how high the fees are right now? Well, I'll just be patient. I mean, it's the stuff I'm going to keep, so I'm, it's not going anywhere. The Young Rookie in a 7. The... Oh, I didn't show the back of the Young Rookie. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to see the backs, but there's the back of the Young Rookie. Did I show you the back of the Mantle? It's a cool back on this. 58 Mantle. Here's the Ford. Back of the Ford. Get my hand out of the way, sorry. Um, 56 Aaron in a three. The Kobe upper deck in a nine. Oh, man. The Kevin Durant. Rookie in a nine. The LeBron, you know, just upper deck MVP. I know this is, you know, probably one of the lower tier rookies, but I don't, I don't have a LeBron rookie and I'm not one of these guys walking around with a Pelican case with 50 tops Chrome rookies. So this, I'm happy with this. I, I'm very happy. So that got a nine. Mr. Cal. Got a nine. I can't believe that one. That one. I did not dream that that was going to be that high. And then the Jeter gold. Tops gold. Got the seven. There's the back of that. I don't know, did I show you the back of the... Yeah, I think I should do the back of the LeBron. There's, you know, everybody knows the back of the 82 Ripken. The Michael Jordan. Tops archives. Got the eight. I love the colorful back on this one. And last, which I will tell you the results of when I send this in the supposed to be a gray back. They didn't grade it that way. Um, I'm going to send it back for the appeal on that. Like I said, you compare it to the picture on my phone. It's, you know, and I, I had these, you know, side by side when it was raw with all the listings on ebay and it matched exactly with a gray back that has sold so this is a gray back and that's going to make it a uh look i'll look at the pop report a five on that so thank you for watching i am happy yet again with my psa order i only have one at psa right now left my biggest order, uh, numbers-wise, it's 19, uh, all 1960s. Their 1960s special that they had um, sent it, I think, on the last day of March last year. So, I mean, if I get it by March, April, I think that's that's reasonable. 75 cards, all 1960s. That That's going to be a fun reveal, too. It's going to be a longer one than this. This one took, you know, half an hour. Sorry, but, oh, I love this. Thank you guys so much for sharing this with me. And have a good night.